Hello and welcome to Season 3, Episode 1 of this Football Manager 2017 career. Here at Alfreton Town for our second season. Uh, we finished the first season at Dundellow and moved to Alfreton. We had a good season last year where we finished 9th. 10th? 9th? It might have been 10th actually. And this year we are going in mildly hopeful of a playoff place. So uh, it's looking like it could be a good season. I'm optimistic, cautiously optimistic at the start of this season. In this episode I'm going to take you through what's happened in the summer and then we'll have a look at the transfers, have a look at the expectations and then we'll get into the first game of the season which is a home game against Altrincham. First thing to update you on is that I requested to go on a, another coaching course and they've accepted so I'm on to the National B licence. I'll be studying that for a few months and that will be the second coaching course that I complete once it's done which will hopefully mean that these pathetic stats here start to improve a little bit. Second thing to update you on is that our expectations for this season are to finish in the top half of the Venomama National League North. Uh, we're also expected to reach the first round of the FA Cup and the second round of the FA Trophy. Um, but we're really hopeful of a top half finish at least. When I had a team meeting with the players I suggested that we could get in the playoffs and they were positive and believed that they can. So secretly we're going to be going for the playoffs but a top half finish will satisfy our board. In terms of the season preview, we are predicted to finish fifth, so that would be a playoff place. So there's a little bit of reason behind our belief that we can get into the playoffs and have a better season this year. So hopefully the bookies are right and we can get into the, that playoff zone and get ourselves a chance of promotion to the Vanarama National League. In terms of transfers, it's been a little bit of a busy summer. Uh, some of last year's regular players have moved on. Uh, I did sign most of last season's players, the really important players I got onto a year's contract. Um, some of the ones that I wasn't quite so fussed about I got onto a non-contract deal and a couple of those have taken the opportunity to leave since then. So Bradley Williams has gone, he was our defensive midfielder. He's moved on to Chester in the Vanarama National League. So it'll be interesting to see how he gets on there but he has moved on from Alpherton. Jack Byrne was a player I brought in last summer from Solihull Moors. He's played a season, he got sent off three or four times last year. He's moved on to Altrincham, he was on a non-contract deal, so he has moved on. And he was a centre midfielder for us. Reese Wedderburn has moved on to Salford. I brought him in last year, he was played more in midfield than he did up front uh, when we were lacking players, but he's taken the opportunity to move on to Salford. There's been a fair bit of business between us and Salford because Niall Heaton has already gone there. He is a centre half, he potentially had a lot of potential, well potentially had a lot of potential, yeah, he had a lot of potential and he wasn't getting in our side, he hardly played any football last season, he played no football last season and hardly any the season before that as well, so I don't think he was ever going to break into the side here, so he has again moved on, he's into the National League with Salford as well. So a few of our players moving on to the bigger leagues. Ryan Wilson was the wing-back left-back last year. He only really played when we played a wing-back system, which was for a short time. Uh, he got annoyed. He didn't want to stay. So he's moved on at the end of his contract and he hasn't found a club. So that says a lot about his quality. In terms of players that have come in, there's a fair few. So we'll try and get through these as quickly as possible. Cameron Moore is in. He's an 18-year-old target man. Uh, I'm not sure he'll be our starting striker, but he's... Uh, a decent prospect, so we may get a bit fair bit of football this year. Nathan Jarman is in, and this boy, I was made aware of him when Lelujo, Lelu, uh, can't even talk on this episode, Lelujo had him for Gaines for Trinity on his non-league legend save. He scored loads of goals for them, so uh, potentially he could be good for us. Uh, he hasn't been particularly prolific in the last two seasons. He's come in from Fylde, who were uh, the league champions this year, so hopefully he brings a little bit of a winning habit to the club. Mike Phoenix has come in, Salford were also promoted, so he's come in from there, he played a fair bit of football last year, he is a striker, 
I've brought him in as an option out wide on the right. Um, but he's, again, a player who's played a lot of football in this division, so hopefully he can add something to the squad. James Aspinall is a young goalkeeper, and it's pretty useful to have him around. Our keeper from last year, Owen Howe, is injured at the moment, so James Aspinall will come straight into the side. He's got some decent goalkeeping stats there. Hopefully he can develop the rest of his game, but he's only 18, so I think he's a good signing for us. Josh Langley has also come in from Fylde. He's a centre-half, can play defensive midfield and right back as well. Uh, 25, and he's played a lot of football, so hopefully he will be another good addition for us. Junior Marias is another striker that's come in. He's come in from the regional leagues, started his career at Wickham. Um, I think he's got uh, some nice abilities there, determined character, decent physical stats, so he's, he's a good option for us up front. Connor McCarthy is in. He's come in from AFC Telford. I think he scored a lot of goals last year. 19 goals last season. Likes to play as a defensive forward. Uh, so he's into the squad. Good physical stats there as well. So he might be a good line leader for us up front. Ellis Deeney is in from Tamworth. I feel like he's going to be a direct replacement for Brad Williams. Uh, he's a good leader. He's played a lot of football for Tamworth as a defensive midfielder and he's going to come in and be our starting defensive midfielder this season. Callum Powell has come in from Wrexham. He's a left winger. Uh, he's got a decent bit of potential. He's only 22 years old. Played a lot of football for Tamworth in his division on loan last season and football the previous year for Stockport on loan. So I'm confident that he can be a good addition for us on the left-hand side. Adam Blakeman is in from Chorley. He's a centre midfielder. Uh, he's just got injured, so he's probably not going to start. Well, he won't start this season. Uh, but he's in. He's played, again, a lot of football in this division and also a little bit in the National League before that. So positive about his addition to the side. Danny Lloyd is coming from Stockport. He can play up front or on either wing, and he's a really quick player, so I'm happy to add him to the squad. Uh, he was a regular for Stockport in the Vanarama North this se last season, and has been for some time, so happy to have Danny Lloyd on board. And the final signing is a guy who's been on trial, a 19-year-old left-back called Regan Ogle, and he'll be an option at left-back. He won't be starting for us, but he's a good addition to have around the squad on a non-contract. So that's quite a few players we've brought in. I think we've brought in the most players in the division. Um, I'm going to try and not pick them all at once and destroy any team cohesion we had from last year. Uh, but we may need a little bit of time for some of these guys to bed in. Um, because there's quite a few of them um, that have come in. So I, I will try to blend them into the side sensibly. Last thing to update you on is that a few changing in changes in the coaching staff. I have a new assistant manager, Martin Riley, is in. Uh, we had Russ O'Neill before, who had really poor stats. Uh, Martin Riley is a decent coach, determined, good discipline, good mental and fitness coaching. So I think he's got potential. He's only just retired from the game. He's only 31. He was a centre half for Wrexham uh, last season, I believe. He was indeed, didn't play any football, he must have been starting his coaching badges. He has a National B licence, so I'm happy to have him on board as my new assistant manager. So those are the updates from the summer, and I'm going to get into the game against Altrincham, and hopefully we can start the season well. And here's the side I've selected for the first game of the season. I haven't gone too heavy on the new players, uh, I've only got four debutants in this starting eleven. Uh, I was tempting to throw a few more in, but just gone with four. So we have James Aspinall and goal, the new 18-year-old goalkeeper. Uh, Sam Ling was regular at right-back last season for us, 21 years old now. Uh, he will continue at right-back. Centre-half partnership, we'll have our captain, Terry Kennedy. And he will be playing alongside Josh Langley, our new signing. Uh, he will start his first game at centre-half. Tom Allen will continue at left-back from last season. Uh, we've lost a couple of our regular defenders from last season on loan. Uh, who were Callum Howe and Ewan Murray. Uh, they have 
moved on, uh, couldn't afford their wages to bring them in on a permanent basis, unfortunately. Elistini is a new signing uh, previously mentioned. He's replacing Brad Williams in defensive midfield. Jordan Winter and Graham Montgomery will continue in centre midfield. Graham Montgomery was our player of the season last year, so glad to have him around again this year. Jay Wilson, 19 years old, played well at times last season on the right wing. And Callum Powell is in on the left wing for his debut. Uh, that's signing from Wrexham. And Liam Hearn will be our starting striker this year. He was around last season and he will be starting up front. Junior Marias is our option on the suspension in terms of strikers. Along, and he's on the bench along with side Lewis Taft, Joe Doyle, Alan Massey and Barry Leverington. Uh, Barry Leverington is the guy who started the last game of last season. He's a young man and he's on the bench because Aaron Howe is still a little bit injured. So the young Barry Leverington will continue on the bench. I think the thing that I've noticed about my summer work, I didn't plan it very well. I've got four or five strikers here on the sidelines and that doesn't even include Danny Lloyd and Mike Phoenix who are strikers who can play out wide. Uh, I think I've got too many. To be honest, people like Charlie Dunkley and Craig Westcar probably won't play a huge amount of football. They're just on non-contract deals. Um, but it might be that uh, if we get injuries without me being able to add to the squad more, we haven't got too much depth in defence or particularly in midfield. So I may need to change the shape a little bit if we do end up with a few injuries, which is a possibility considering the lack of match fitness in the squad. Uh, we've played five pre-season friendlies and that doesn't seem to have built the match fitness for some of these players. So they're going to have to get up to speed very quickly this season. And these are the five friendlies that we've played. Uh, one away at Glossop, Elistini and Callum Powell scored their first goals for us. And then we didn't score for three games. So we had a, an expected dome defeat to Sheffield United. Good crowd of 3,000 in for that one. Sheffield away. Uh, a game we should have been winning, drew that 0-0. Lost at home to Salford, who are now a Vanarama National League team. And then uh, the game against Roster was a shocker. We were 4 it up. Danny Lloyd, Junior Marais got two, and Graham Montgomery with the goals. And after 71 minutes, we're 4 it up. Um, I probably tried to get a little bit too clever, and I was playing a 4-4-2, a very attacking 4-4-2 for the last 20 minutes, or for the last half an hour. And I didn't switch to a defensive shape and we got punished because Roster managed to get to four goals, including two goals uh, in the 89th and 91st minute to get it back to 4-4. Four -four. Uh, if that had been a league game, I would have been angry. I think I would have also played a more defensive shape, but I was just trying to get a match fitness into a few of our strikers. And we ended up drawing the game, which was disappointing. But We'll move on quickly from that and let's hope for a good start in the league against Altrincham today. We are the 4-6 to six on favourites for this game and uh, Altrincham have a new manager. Lee Morris has been in charge for four weeks and we have been in charge for 14 months now at Alfreton. Uh, so let's get into the game. So out come the two teams. Oh, Alfreton will be in our usual red home strip and... Uh, Altrincham will be in their yellow and blue kit and let's hope we can get off to a good start this season. We haven't yet had a highlight in this game. There's been a couple of two uh, early yellow cards. Jordan Winter's got a yellow card for us and Liam Byrne, our former midfielder who got sent off three times last year, has an early yellow card for his new club, Altrincham. And he's a, <laughs> he's got a red card. He's gone through the back of Liam Hearn and he has his first red card for Altrincham and they clearly didn't read his stats from last season because uh, he's done the same as he did for us a few times last season so let's hope we can take advantage of this now. Montgomery with a free kick on the left hand side into the box but it's been headed away. Ling will pick up the ball and get the ball back to Montgomery. Can he get the ball into the box? No he can't and there could be a chance here. A four is in behind. And he hits his shot into the side netting, but that was disappointing how we defended that. It seemed too easy for them to hit a ball over the top and hit us on the break there. And Aspinall's going to take this free kick. Flicked on by Wilson. Hearn tackled. 
and Altrincham will launch the ball forward. But we have the ball back. Kennedy into Deeney and into Montgomery. Can we launch an attack? Ling is on the overlap, but that's a poor ball inside. And Altrincham can clear again. Ooh, Tom Allen has flown in on the winger there and he could be getting a straight red here and he is that's really frustrating there we had a man advantage I was thinking about some tactics that we could use in the second half to take advantage of that and we've absolutely blown it we're blown it there we're gonna have to go to a 4-4-2 a 4-4-1 even um, I'm thinking of taking winter off because he's on a yellow card and I can't really afford us to go down to Ten men or nine men even. Hmm, how am I going to deal with this? Um, I'm going to take Callum Powell off. We're going to send Montgomery back out wide left to his usual position, and Winter will now play as a centre midfielder rather than a ball-winning midfielder, and hopefully that means he's less inclined to tackle. So that's a disappointing end to the first half. If we could have got him with 11 men on the pitch, I was thinking of some attacking changes. And, and it's not to be. We're going back to 10 on 10. So the second half is underway. Can we get a win in this first game of the season? So Altrincham had the throw in here on the left-hand side. Can we close them down? It's a tame shot in the end from McDonald, and this has been a game of few chances, to be honest with you. We're nearly 70 minutes into the game, so I'm going to look to make a change. I'm going to give Liam Hearn a rest, get Junior Marais in up front to hopefully cause a bit of havoc. Younger legs to uh, give the centre halves a bit of a run around. And a goal kick by Aspinall. Marais is straight into the action, trying to flick that on. Obviously lacking in a bit of support there. But and Altrincham have ended up with the ball and are going to look to launch an attack here. Uh, Hobson's holding the ball up for them. Reeves has the ball. Gets the ball back into Hobson. It's a patient build-up here from Altrincham. I feel like we've gone too defensive and we've been punished. Reeves has got in and scored the goal and we've fallen behind with 19 minutes to go. I've gone to a 4-4-1, but I... <laughs> Mariah seems far too uh, isolated up front. I'll try and make a change here, just to do something a little bit more attacking. I'm going to get Lewis Taff on for Jay Wilson and we're going to push the wingers on. I know that's not necessarily uh, Graham Montgomery's best position but it's time to attack I feel. So a free kick for Altrincham. Uh, have the ball near the halfway line. Hopefully we can nick in and get the ball. It looks like we're struggling to do that at the moment. Duxbury's going to get to the byline. Aspinall's dropped it. Kennedy's tried to clear and it's just hit Reeves and gone in. And that's a comedy of errors. We had a real opportunity in this game and Tom, Olin, Tom Allen's poor tackle has really cost us. That's a really poor error, error from the keeper. And Kennedy should have just put it out for a corner and he's tried to blast it away and it's ricocheted into the goal. So I think this will be the match-ending highlight. We struggle to get the ball into the box as we have done all game. And... Reeves could make it three here and he's decided to play safe and they're just going to play keep ball here for the last 15 seconds. Stop fourth into McDonald. They don't fancy having a shot at all. They're just toying with us now and that will be the end of the game. It's a 2-0 home defeat to start the season off. We had a window of opportunity with Jack Byrne getting sent off in his debut against his old team and we've blown it. So a really poor start to the season today. Not happy with the performance. Uh, not happy with the discipline, to be honest. Tom Allen's really cost us there. And we've got some questions to answer, really. We've got a trip to Holt at Solihull Moors in three days' time, so there's no time to dwell on that loss. And...
and hopefully we can respond straight away and get ourselves off and running for the season. Uh, we aren't match fit, maybe that's going to cause us to have a, a slow start to the season. But I'll go and play these games, I'm going to play them uh, up to the end of the transfer window, so the first next game you'll see is probably going to be lowest off or Bradford Park Avenue at home. I hope you've enjoyed that. Let's hope for better things in the next episode and I'll see you then.